this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. Glory to our Father God in heaven, for he is great and he is faithful. And this is the day to give him praise and give him honor for what he has done for us through Jesus Christ. God has saved us. He has delivered us from the powers of darkness. He has translated us into the kingdom of light of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of all of our sins. Yes, this is the day to give God praise and honor and being thankful unto him because he's ruling and he's reigning regardless of what it looks like in your current situation. God is still faithful. Hallelujah. Glory to our Father God in heaven for he rules and he reigns. Hallelujah. So today God gave me a word to encourage you and it was during my own devotion time this morning that God encouraged me with this study. So we are gifted, we are graced to, to be blessed to have God inside of us. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Glory to God for the Holy Ghost and his fire. God is the consuming fire. He is in us, he is on us, he is through us. Praise ye the Lord for the Holy Ghost and fire. Hallelujah, glory to God. Like I said, God encouraged me this morning, so I will pass that blessing on to you because we must be good stewards over the mysteries of God that he has given to us, and that is the word of God, hallelujah. I know people may not understand and they may they may wonder why, why would someone share? Why would, why you keep sharing? Well, you're going to have to be faithful over the mysteries of God that he is giving you. It's not about me to judge your race or you to judge my race. It's about being faithful over what God is giving you. And if you truly love, like Jesus asked Peter, he asked Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? And Peter answered him over and over again, yes, Lord. But Jesus said to him, finally, he said to him, if you love me, then you will feed my lambs. You will feed my sheep. So glory to God, because we have Christ in us to hope of glory, and we are anointed with God upon us and in us and through us. You think it's strange that one would share? Hallelujah. We are sharing because of the grace of God on us, in us, and through us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So again, I would like to share the lesson that God had given me this morning. And you can get your Bible and join me. Because I believe the Word of God is inspired by God. It is the Bible. It is inspired by God. And when you listen to when you read the word of God or you listen to someone who's speaking under the unction of the Holy Ghost, and when you read the Bible yourself, God will bring that word to your remembrance. Hallelujah. That word will encourage you. That word will strengthen you. That word will be there for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Proverbs 3, 3, chapter 3, verse 3 through 4. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. God says, do not forsake his word. Do not forsake the truth. Do not forsake what he is giving you. Glory to God. God's word is true. You, when you come to the word of God, God will write that word upon your heart. And again, that word will encourage you. That word will be there for you. Hallelujah. And God will also use that word to come to your memory to encourage others as well. So glory to God. This is where you find truth. This is where you seek truth. You seek truth. You find truth from the truth, the life, and the way, which is Jesus. You find truth from the words from God's mouth. You find 
truth from where all things were made by him. Nothing was made that wasn't made by him. So, of course, when you come to the word of God, you are coming to the potter and you are the clay because he is the one who formed everything. Glory to our Father God. He is awesome. He is great and he's faithful. So, when you come to the word of God, you are coming to the instruction manual. You are coming to the book of all books. You are coming to the word of God, which is life, which is grace, which is strength, which is the life and which will quicken your mortal bodies hallelujah for the word of god proverbs 22 verse 17 through 18 incline your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your heart to my knowledge for it is a pleasant thing if you keep them within you let them all be fixed upon your lips Glory to God for those who God inspired to speak through, to pour into my life. There are so many men and women of God that God has used to be a blessing to me personally. I thank God for each and every one. Some you may know and some you may not know. Because everyone that God speaks through, everyone that God pours through, God says in his word, when you receive the word of God, receive the word of God as it is the word of God. Not the words of mere men, but the word of God. So I thank God for everyone that he's poured through. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. God is awesome. God is faithful. God is great. And hallelujah, God speaks. And most of all, when you sit, hallelujah, you sit at the feet of Jesus and you hear what Holy Spirit has to say to you. God writes that word upon your heart. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Psalms 25 verse 4 through 5. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth and teach me for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Show me your ways, Lord. Show me your path, Father God. Show me your truth, Father. Inspire me, teach me, change me, mold me, create in me a clean heart with the right spirit. That's the only way. You have to cry out to God. You have to call out in his name, in the name of Jesus. Ask him to teach you. Ask him to show you his ways. No one can co even come to Father God unless he draw you. Hallelujah. Revelation is only given by the power of the Holy Ghost. If you seek him, if you're hungry for him, if you search for him with all your heart, you will find him. God will make known himself to you. Glory to our Father, the Son of God, and the Holy Ghost, which is the Lord Jesus, our Lord, our God. He is one. Our Father God is awesome. He's great, and he is faithful, and he is here to teach you, to guide you in all truth. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Psalms 91 and 4. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. I love that. God shall cover you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He shall cover you. God is your covering in the name of Jesus. Male or female, whoever, child, God is our covering. When you acknowledge the Lord Jesus in all of your ways, he is our shield. He is our buckler. He is our protection. God is in control. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. And he is in control. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Psalms 117 verse 1 through 2. Praise the Lord all you. Praise him all you people. For he is merciful, kindness is, and his, his merciful kindness is great towards you, and the truth the Lord endures forever. Praise him, all of you. Praise him, all people. Praise him, all nations. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then we will see revival. Then we will see an awesome outpouring. When we seek God with all of our heart, when we turn from our wicked ways, which is unbelief in Jesus. Anyone who says there is no God is evil. The Bible says so, and God even calls them a fool. If you say in your heart that there is no God, you are a fool. That's what the word of God says. 
Hallelujah, that's what the word of God says. Because you can look all around and know that there is a creator. And if you are alone, left alone with yourself, you should know that you need a savior. Hallelujah, you're not perfect on your own. Hallelujah, wakey, wakey, wake up. You're not perfect on your own. Only God, only God is righteous. Only God is holy. Only God is faithful. Only God is true love. So you have to have a savior and his name is Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Realize that. Move on. Get over it. Hallelujah. And receive that you need Jesus. The whole world needs Jesus. Glory to God. And he is faithful and he is willing and he is able and he is ready to listen to your call or your whisper to come and reveal himself to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalms 100, verse 2 and five, two through 5. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord your God, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures for all generations. That is what it is about. Glory to God. He is faithful. He is good. And his truth endures forever. Praise his holy name. Enter into his gates. Enter into his presence with praise and thanksgiving. Go throughout your day giving him the glory for all that he has made and created. Know that it is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. John 14 and 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And no one, no one comes to the Father except through me. That is it, that's the truth, bottom line, point blank and period. No one comes to the Father except through the Lord Jesus Christ. And know that God manifests in the flesh, hallelujah. Unto us a son is born, a child is born, a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He is our Lord, he is our God, and he is great and is faithful. God purchased us with his own blood. He is the truth, he is the life, and he is the way. And he did that so that he could put the wrath of God on himself in our place so that we could receive his righteousness. Because he is faithful, he is good, and he is holy, and he is our Lord and our God. Receive him today. Receive his blood to cleanse you from all your iniquities and your generational curses and your, and your sins. Receive Jesus. Receive his precious blood today, and you can be free. Receive the Holy Ghost anointing and fire to break off all the yokes and bondage that has kept you in darkness. Receive him today. And you will be free and set free because he's already paved the way for you. Yes, I give thanks unto the Father who has made us partakers into his inheritance of great saints in the light. He has delivered us from the powers of darkness, translated us into the kingdom of light of his dear son, in, him, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of all of our sins. Yes, those who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ shall be called great in heaven. Yes, in the name of Jesus, bow and receive that God is true. For all the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord Jesus. All the families of the nations will bow down before him, for dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. Glory to God. John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. Then Jesus said to those, he said to them, those who believe in him, those who believe, if you abide in my word, Jesus said that to those Jews who believed in him, those who believed in him. He said, if you abide in my words, if you abide in my words, if you continue in my word, then you will be my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You have to continue in the word of God. You have to continue in his word. You have to continue in his truth. And then you will be called his disciples. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is faithful. He is truth. He is holy. And he is waiting for you to call on his holy name. 
to be saved and delivered from the powers of darkness. So have a blessed and favored day in the name of Jesus because God is good and he is great and he is faithful and he loves us with an everlasting love.